Hi, my name is Bill McCarthy. I'm the assistant principal here at Arlington High School. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the media center. Um, this has really become the hub of the high school. It's located in the center of the building. And this is one of our key collaborative places. So students can come here during the day to check out books, check out laptops, uh, work with their peers. But also this is a, a space for classes to come. And if they need a breakout space, they will meet here. So if the English, English class wants to have discussion groups, they'll come here. If a science classroom is doing work, they'll come here. And this is one of the few places they can actually do that in the building. One of the big things when you look at new schools is breakout spaces and interdisciplinary pl places. So different departments can work together. This is the one spot to do it. Um, there are a few other spaces, but it's not odd to see an English department and a history department in the gym because it's one of the few large spaces to handle that. Um, as you take a quick look around, you will see that there, there are some spaces that have been carved out, and we'll see a few more as we go down. But these spaces have been carved out of our media center because we don't have enough classroom and office space throughout the building. This is a classroom over here. Down there on the right is actually town offices. And as we continue to carve up the media center, we're really cutting into the heart of the building. And we, rep we recognize that we don't want to do that. We want the media center to be large. We want classes to be able to participate, students to come here. And, uh, but the space restraints are so, so much here that we have to take advantage of anything we can. Um, several offices have actually been created in closets in order to support students for social work, for dean's offices, things of that nature. And you'll see along here, this is our support center, really, for students. Um, we have our learning center, which is open from 9 to 4 in the afternoon. And the media center is open from 9 to 4 as well. And the piece behind that is it is designed to tutor students. So if you have a teacher that's absent, you can come down here and get tutoring from National Honor Society, from certified teachers. Um, we want to expand that. We want to make that bigger more inclusive to students. It's not odd to come by here and find 30 or 40 students in this space. They'll actually make use of these chairs out here because they want to expand, they want to be part of the tutoring program, but there's not enough space in the room. You also see down here we have our guidance office, uh, guidance office and media center office, more places where we have added classroom space. Further down is our music tech classroom, and we've continued to divide up the media center, like I said, really the heart of the building which has um, taken away from students' ability to be here. So students are constantly coming and going. They are here. They're using the resources available. They can check out iPads. They can check out iPods. They can check out laptops. Uh, they can work in groups. They can sign out small rooms off the sides in order to collaborate. But those are really the only collaboration spaces we have. So our goal as we go forward looking at the 21st century is how can we keep the, me the learning commons, the media center, really the hub of the building and give it the space it needs so that students can collaborate, classrooms can come down here and make use of the resources available and really just give students the educational space that they need. One of the big pieces we have here at the media center is that we have 1,300 students, we know enrollment's going to be growing. There are estimates that in the next couple of years we will go to 14, 15, and so on, uh, eventually hitting 1,700 students. Right now the media center, because we've had to cut it up so much, has hit capacity. It's not odd to fill every seat in this space in a given period. The end result is we have to turn away students who want to be here, who want to make use of the media center, whether it's the tools, the resources, or to collaborate. We also have to turn away classes that want to collaborate. When an English department and a history department want to meet, if there are too many students in here, they can't meet because there's just not enough seats. And you'll also, if you come in here on a given day, it's not odd to see a history classroom over here, 30 students over here working independently, and an office meeting happening in the back. Because this is also one of the few places that has the technology in order to do some presentations. So we will have outside pre presenters come in here to meet with our students because the classrooms are too small or the auditorium isn't really a good space to host those kinds of meetings. 
One thing we talked about earlier was the 21st century tools, and I just wanted to emphasize this. Um, this is one of our 3D printers, and you can see some of the models that our students have put into action. Um, there's also some pieces over here that are maneuverable, which they've done completely from scratch on the 3D printer. And this is the things that we want to emphasize as we're looking at 21st century skills and the way the classrooms are designed. This building was designed in the 1980s. This was not part of education in the 1980s. It is now and it will be in the future. And we really want to try and grow that. So rather than having a shelf in the media center, we would like labs designed around this piece. And if you go to a lot of the new high schools, you'll see that. You'll see mainframes designed around supporting this kind of hands-on learning, whether it's computer programming, understanding the tools, how they work, and really applying what you're learning in class. And so this is wonderful. We would like to have a lab based around this. And that's really what we're looking for as we go forward, looking at a media center or a learning commons or a maker space.